Okay guys and gals, this is the 44th video in the Coffee with High Boys series and what today's video is about is it's about the basics of the dial calipers. The reason I'm doing this video is this is for a really good subscriber of mine. He has turned into a really good friend but here's the deal. He says he's always struggled with comprehension. He's watched pretty much every one of my videos. He's got the manual and he reads it, but he says he's a slow reader and he's just struggling with the dial caliper. So here's the deal. I have two statements that I'd like to say. First of all, absolutely anybody that's willing to jump in and work for it, I'm always willing to roll my sleeves up and help that person without a doubt. Two, I would like to say this. In comparing a person that has excellent comprehension, high IQ, and reads well, there is no difference between that person not reading and a person that cannot read. So even if you're a slow reader and you struggle with comprehension, keep trucking because eventually you'll get it. Now I'd like to say this, uh, in, my life, in, in my life I've always been a, a slower reader my comprehension isn't what I wished it could be. I am more of a hands-on. So what I would encourage everybody to do that struggles with reading is read it and do it one step at a time, and that way you'll own it. So with that in mind, I hope you guys have a good cup of coffee. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the dials and how we read them. First of all, you have to make sure you are properly zeroed out. That's properly zeroed right there. Let me show you what not properly zeroed out looks like. See something like that. Now, to bring it into zero, just loosen this bottom set screw and turn the bevel of the dial in so your needle is lined up perfectly and make sure you retighten that screw. Now you're zeroed. All right. Now let me show you how we read these. First of all, your whole numbers right there. Whole number of one. That whole number, basic mathematics, using the calculator on my smartphone, that's your whole number. In front of, to the left of, your decimal. Now, your tenths. These are your tenths. Right there. One tenth, two tenths. Now watch as I count them off. We have three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, which would be a half inch. We can go all the way up to two. Right? Now, back to our calculator. That's your tenths position. Okay? Hundreds. Where would our hundreds be? If I divide this whole number a hundred times, these are our hundredths. Position. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Of course, one time around is equal to a tenth. Okay? There's our hundreds. 
we have one tenths hundredths. Where's our thousandths? Right there. Each one of those represents a thousandths. Okay. Henceforth, our thousandths. Once, ones, whole number of ones, our decimal. We have ones, tenths, thousandths. All right. Now, for my example, in this video, we are going to use just a socket set. What I hope you have, most people have a socket set, and hopefully you have a socket that is larger than a one inch. That way we can utilize our whole number one on these for our, our example. If you don't, find something that you can measure that's larger than one inch. It can be a coffee cup, a glass, something that does, doesn't have forgiveness, something that's solid you can lock on to. So now what I'm going to do, for my example, I'm going to return these back to zero. Zero is closed. And your dial calipers, if they are in proper working order, should return right back to zero like that. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this smallest socket, and I'm going to take my jaws, and I'm going to open them. I'm going to measure them like that. Now, one thing I'd like to make note of, that socket is not perfect. Watch that dial. As I turn those, that dial isn't necessarily going to return to where it was because this isn't perfect. Follow along, you'll see why we have to understand that. So now, just at first grasp, once again, I'm going to come in here like this and to grab this socket. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this screw and drop the socket out of the way. Now, let's read this. This is where my subscriber struggles. He says, where do I begin reading them? My first question, have we arrived to our whole numeral of one yet? No, we haven't. Okay. So we're going to enter a zero. And go ahead and put your decimal in. Now my next question, as far as our tenths go, how many tenths have we cleared? We cleared the first tenth, the second tenth, the third tenth, and the fourth tenth, but we haven't passed our five tenths or our half inch mark. So the largest tenths you've covered Put that number into your tens column. So you're going to have zero decimal four. Okay? What's the third number we're after? We're after our hundredths. We have what's the largest hundredths we've passed? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, but we didn't quite make it to 70, did we? No, we didn't. So 6 is the next largest number we need to put into our equation. We have 0 0.46. Now, we're going to have a lesson at the end of this, and it's going to be very interesting for you are thousands. How many thousands have we cleared? 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, let's 
60, we're going to call it 65, right? So 5 past the 60, we have 5 thousandths. That's what our next number is. Let me get my calculator here, guys. Zero point four six five. So if I take these digital, okay, I turned them on. I'm going to zero them. If I take the jaws and I come around this socket, oh, look at that. And if I turn that socket, that's what I wanted you guys to realize. For me to get 0 0.465, I'm going to have to grab that socket in just the right place. And I can have up to like, oh, there we go. I can have up like the 2,000th error between one set of calipers and another. But as you can see, we are reading on the dials. Get those in the right one. Exactly what we read there, right? So now let's clear this. Let's go for the larger socket, shall we? It's brand new. I just ordered that for like 50 cents at a pawn shop. <laughs> you know, uh, I haven't used it, but the day I need it <laughs> was a cheap socket to buy. So now, starting back at zero, now let's go ahead and only run them with your thumbs like this. Don't, don't just grab the jaws and open them with your hands. Okay. Now, as you saw, that fluctuated a thousandths because that's not perfect, is it? So now we have to read this. Let's read it, shall we? What's the largest whole number we've passed? There's one. Are we past the two? Yeah, just barely, huh? Two. So, our ones column, there's our, no, I'm sorry, there's our two and our decimal. So we know we got at least two inches diameter on this bad boy. But now, where's our tenths? After the two, what's the largest tenth? We didn't make it, did we? Nothing. Okay, fair enough. What about our hundreds? That's our first hundreds. Did we make it? No, we didn't. Guess what we put? Well, we're pretty much it a two inch diameter socket, right? Outside diameter, OD. But let's get it down to a thousandths. That's what we measure for. The thousandths marking, where are we at on that? Well, what are you gonna call that? That's kinda why I did that. It's really not quite to the thousandths, okay? plus or minus a thousandths you can put a zero you can put a one that's up to you that's not enough right there to worry either way I hope that answers a lot of questions that the new reloaders ask so we aren't to one yet are we and guess what we are <laughs> dead too okay now if I want to 
open that up. Ah, there we go. So there's our two point K, zero tenths, zero hundredths. What we have, we're right at, right at one thousandths, aren't we? Okay. That's how you read your dials. Now, you don't ever want to take your hands and run them this way. If you have to do that, just be very delicate. Don't don't horsepower them, okay? Make sure they're back to zero. When you put them down, you be gentle about it. So now let me tell you the advantage you're going to have with the dials. How many hundreds of years have we been living in the world of electricity? Well, you go look it up. A couple hundred years at least. Sooner or later it's going to fail. You have an EMP strike. That's done. As you noticed, those remained on for this entire video once they began using them. All of a sudden you look down and that battery's dead. Yeah, you have a backup. But what if you don't have a backup? What if you have an EMP strike? Shit hits the fan. you got to run. Dial is king. Every time you use this, use this one three times. Use this one time, use this five times. Next thing you know, you're always using these. When I'm out here, I don't use those. You know why I don't use those? Because I'm good at using these. Okay? Very good. Random. Can we read that? We have 1.116. Was that slow? No, it wasn't slow. What do we have? We have 2.24, not quite 1. When people tell you these are slow, no, they're not. They're as slow as, as you want to make them. Master them, own them. And now, when you're reading on how to use these, even if you're a slow reader, comprehend. Um, it, comprehension is low guess what now you know how to run those and when you read it you're going to get it and no one can ever take information from you once you have it we only rob ourselves right now last thing I want to leave you with remember doesn't matter how slow of a reader you are if you're a slow reader but you're always reading you're always going to be ahead of the people that are really good at reading but they never take the time Okay, guys and gals, that's the end of this video. See you on the next.